So hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kendra and you're watching KP Camp. <laughs> Okay, so I am going to make a disclaimer that I am making this video for upcoming freshmen, but if there's anybody out there that's just looking at an a and as a prospect, um, you can also get some tips from this video as well. I know orientations have been over by now, so like it's, you probably already had like a sneak peek of some of the stuff that, I've already, that I'm going to say in the video. Um, shout out to NCAT 22 for having like a lit orientation because I did not have that as a freshman. So shout out to y'all for having, for being lit or whatever, because my orientation was whack. Okay. So I really don't want to make a long intro, but please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this or any other content, because I do just about everything. Um, yeah. Thumbs up this video if you like it and all that jazz. Put on my post notifications. And if you want to see any other a &T videos, please comment down below any suggestions. But I'm just going to jump right into the video because I hate long intros. The biggest question I get all the time ever since I started going to a &T is, is a &T as lit as it seems on social media? And the answer to that is yes. Ante is lit. Like sometimes I be like downplaying it, like nah, Ante ain't all that, it ain't all that. But like compared to these other schools, Ante is lit. Like campus life is lit, off campus life is lit. Like it's potentially lit. Like, but it's up to you whether you gonna be lit. You feel me? Okay. So I have a list right here that I'm gonna go down and really like go in depth. Um, hopefully this video won't get too long, but. Intro for me, my name is Kendra Payne. I'm from Richmond, Virginia. I'm attending North Carolina Agricultural and Technical State University. I'm, I'm an architecture engineering major and I'm a rising junior. That's all y'all need to know about me. Okay, so first thing on my list is YouTube plugs. So YouTube is definitely like a big platform where you can find like different information about A&T and like, you know, whether you like the vibe or not. Hopefully this video will be added to your list of videos that help you figure out your decision or, you know, make you really feel welcome once you start. Um, but I'm just going to touch about everything. So, you know, but I'm going to put a disclaimer that I'm not an NCAT vlogger. Yes, I do vlog and yes, I go to NT, but I do not to call my, I do not like to call myself an NCAT vlogger just because there are so many NCAT vloggers and y'all really like that material. I guess that really shows y'all like how it is to be a student. And if you want to see videos like that, I do have that on my channel. And if you want to see more of that, I mean, subscribe because I will post more videos like that once I go back to school. But yeah, that's all I had to say about that. Um, as for parties. Okay, so your girl, I do like to party. And yeah, let's just keep it at that. Um, there are on-campus events that you consider as a party. We do have like gym jams. And there is a block party at the beginning of the year that is going to be like considered a party. And you can, you know, party with only a &T students. Um, I will say most of the parties are off campus, so I only go to house parties just because I don't I don't like to pay the party, and it's free. It can be dangerous sometimes. I'm not gonna lie, you know you just have to be careful about your your surroundings and stuff. But you know, ain't like parties and stuff that's in house parties and stuff like that. It's gonna be different people. It's not gonna be all NCAT people. Like it might be UNCG or Bennett or any local college around, or even just random people that's not even in school. You know, whatever. There's also like club parties. Um, those are like very advertised, like especially on Twitter and stuff like that. Um, shout out to Jazz City and Next Level. Um, I personally don't go to like their parties just because you have to pay. Like, so you can get in for free before 11.30, but you really not gonna get up to the door till 11.30 and you gonna have to pay that $10. So I'm just not for that. But if you ever wanna get into parties free or stuff, like definitely like reach out to like promoting teams and if you know somebody that knows somebody, you might can get in for free too or skip the line or however you got your connections. Like, go ahead and start your connections now. Like, if that's really something that you want to do. But I personally do that. I mean, they seem like they be lit. Like, I've been to a couple, like, during Geo and stuff just because they be, like, the biggest things going on or maybe, like, the only things that's, like, for sure, for sure going on. So, yeah, that's up to you. But if you ever want to party, hit me up. Because I can take you. We can have a good 
Mizzite. <laughs> Next on my list is group chat. So obviously group chat is like a really big thing that you can contact, get in contact with like a lot of different people. Um, personally, I didn't get into the group chat thing my freshman year, but I mean, it's definitely a way you can meet people, especially people in your class. So like y'all can hang out and do whatever y'all gonna do. Next on my list is Campus Life. Um, I really do like Campus Life. Like, personally, it is something that I enjoy. Like, you know, just hanging out on campus. And I really consider a t my second home. Like, it's definitely, like, somewhere I spend all the time. Like, you literally live there for four years. So, yeah, you got to love your campus. You know, it's huge. It's beautiful. And there's plenty of stuff you can do. We have plenty of organizations and we have plenty of events that will go on during the semester. Next on my list is spring and fall semester. So fall semester is lit, not gonna lie. We got GHO, we got events back to back. Like it is lit, not even gonna lie. And we got like fall break, winter break. Like it's just lit. But spring semester is kind of dry. Like, it's, like, really dry. All we have is spring break, which is only one week, and we have Aggie Fest. But Aggie Fest isn't until, like, the end of the year. So, you have to go through that whole winter phase where it's not even spring yet. It's supposed to be spring semester. It's not even spring yet. Go through that whole phase, and they don't even really do events, like, during when it's cold. And I really noticed that. Like, we don't really do a whole bunch of campus events while it's cold. So, spring semester is just a little dry. I mean, it's just a little tip, just in case. You trying to plan out your year or something. I don't know. And next is like lit calf nights. Okay, so in front of the cab is like a good little spot where it's a lot of like little hangouts. Like sometimes we have a DJ to come out. Shout out to DJ K Grady. Or like different like um sometimes we have a time where like different small businesses. Like if you have a business you want to go to, sometimes they have set up your little shops in front of the calf and stuff. But it's really like a little nice little hangout spot. It's kind of like our quad. Next on my list is parking. Okay, so this is kind of random, but parking at a t is trash. Like, of course, if you're a freshman, you don't have to worry about it because you won't have your car your first semester. But if you decide to bring it your second semester or your sophomore year, just know that parking is trash. I paid like 120 something dollars for my parking pass for the year. But, like, it's barely any parks. Like, it's thousands of kids on A&T campus, and it feel like it's only, like, 500 parking spaces. And especially during GHO, just know, don't even move your car, honey, because there isn't going to be anywhere for you to park. It's going to be, like, triple the amount of people on that campus. Like, it's crazy. Next to my list is freshman lifestyle. So, as a freshman, it's going to be, like, a little transition. Like, I'm going to let you know right now, the struggle might be real for a little bit because... You don't really have no car or nothing. That's why I really advise you all to, like, find an upperclassman that does have a car so they can get you around when you need to go. There's definitely a shuttle that you can catch so you can get to, like, the Walmart or the mall or something. But, like, nightlife, there's not really much you can do unless you got money for Ubers. I mean, if you got money for Ubers, go ahead, boo, you got it. But I personally didn't have money for no Uber. So I needed to find some people that, I mean, not to say use them, but, like, if they can help you out. Or they want to hang with you or get friends as upperclassmen. So they can definitely, like, get you where you need to go so you don't have to struggle. Because, I mean, it's an experience. Definitely, I advise everybody to take, like, the um, heat bus at least one time to the mall or the Walmart or something. And just, you know, get that experience. Because I went through it and I advise everybody else to go through it. So just you could be grateful for <laughs> um, having somebody that can take you wherever you need to go. Or, you know, getting an Uber or whatever you decide to do. Um, I could also say that freshman year, like, just really, like, be about you and do what you want to do. Um, definitely branch out and meet people that you want to meet. Join organizations early just so they can know your face. Um, definitely time management is something you have to keep up with. Um, don't always party. I mean, party when you can, but if you didn't do your homework or your paper, I mean, choose. Really choose. Um, use your time wisely. Okay. Next on my list is moving day. I mean, I don't really have much to say just because once you get there, it's, it's your RA should, like, let you know what you need to know and what you need to do. I will say definitely have good people there that's going to help you move in. Most of the freshman dorms do not have an elevator, so you just have to take into account that when you're, like, bringing stuff because you got to look it up the steps. There usually is, like, some upperclassmen or even, like, sororities, fraternities that use that time to, like, help you. Um, moving your stuff, but like, yeah, 
you'll see when you get there to be honest but next on my list is financial aid um i'm out of state student so i already know how expensive ant can be um if you're an in-state i guess it's a little cheaper i mean it still can be a stretch for some people um yeah financial aid office i feel like everybody in there has an attitude me personally um if you really want money from them you're really gonna have to beg um be on top of your coins because ant does not play about money if you do not pay them they will not enroll you as a student they will drop you as if you never had any pride in your life so i'm just gonna even tell you that right now like ant does not play about their money so Please just make sure you have everything in on time and make sure that everything is accounted for when you're looking at paying for your tuition and everything that's included in that. Next on my list is the Help Center. Okay, this might be a little, I don't know, this might not be important to some people, but for me, um, I missed one of the shots that I needed to take and like literally I had to go to the Help Center for like all this information that apparently I did not fill out and i was i had a hold of my account everything they was about to drop me as a student so make sure that you if you're going to use the health center and not go to any other doctors or anything please make sure that you have everything accounted for you can get student insurance or you can um get your insurance company to i don't know make it so that it's eligible in north carolina or at ANC. so i mean like really look into that if you are like one of those people that really get sick a lot or you feel like you're gonna need it or maybe if you want to put like your prescriptions up and stuff there like, you know, take advantage of the stuff you have on campus. You're going to be living there for four years. So, yeah. Next on my list is class registration. So, as a freshman, you're probably going to already have your classes registered. And you probably had an advisor that didn't know what they didn't know what they were doing. And they kind of just signed you up and went off the curriculum that's for your major. And I'm letting you know right now, it might be a little tough. Like, they give you the bad end of the stick. I'm just going to let you know right now. Um, but when you register for your classes in the spring, definitely do it as soon as you can because there are people that live in like learning living community, learning living communities, and they get to sign up for classes early. So there might be a class you want to get into that might not either it may not be available or like the socks are so they're getting filled up fast. So definitely get and register for your class on time, and it's, it's the time that the class that your class is scheduled to. Um, register make sure you don't have any holes in your account before you register because you won't be able to do that either and you'll be stuck with nothing nothing you'll be stuck with scraps so taking into account making your schedule around the um cafeteria schedule so that you will not be hungry because you're gonna run out of flex quick talking about you're gonna run to the dome real quick or it's gonna come down to a point where you're gonna miss lunch and you're gonna only have dinner like you really want to make sure that's like a line because the calf closes for an hour or two in between each little schedule like a breakfast lunch and dinner next on my list is make sure you like your major um and i mean that in like the most literal way like just make sure the amount of work that you're gonna put in is gonna be worth what you wanted the outcome to be so yeah that's really up to you yeah really make sure you like your major and you can go in undeclared and then figure out what you want to do while you're in school so take that into account too Okay, so then I'm going to talk about academics. So I feel like ANC does very well with academics. You're definitely going to come out on top um, and know what you need to do when you're in a workplace. You're definitely going to come out with the knowledge that you need. Next on my list is use your resources. So there are plenty of things that's on campus. Like you can, there, there are over a hundred organizations on campus. So if you're not joining nothing, I don't know what you're doing. And there's definitely like, um, on campus tutoring, um, for free and stuff like that. So if you're not using the resources that you have, like it's really on you because it's definitely available. Next on my list is housing. So